As the demand for sustainable seafood grows, more and more entrepreneurs are getting into the shrimp business. And so our next stop is at Homegrown Shrimp, a commercial hatchery that ships shrimp across the country. We are at the Homegrown Shrimp Hatchery and Farm Complex, which also has a small packing plant and office warehousing in Indian Town, Florida. We consider ourselves sustainable because we impact no oceans. We are inland. We do not use any marine water, and we recycle all of the water that we use. We capture all the waste, and then those wastes are properly disposed of such that it doesn't impact the environment. We use only disease-free animals here. It is, under most definitions, I think, as sustainable as we can envision sustainable to be today. Before we came, when I looked at the industry in the United States and in Europe, what they lacked was a good animal. And so that's what we really tried to provide through our homegrown post larvae that we sell into the U.S. and into Europe is a high health animal with very fast growth potential. And since we've introduced that animal three years ago, we have seen farms start to get reinvigorated in terms of getting more investment, growing their companies. And there is the seeds of a real industry taking place. And it's based on a shrimp that actually grows well and has high survival. It used to be that tuna was the number one seafood in the United States. Today it's shrimp. And that has been brought about solely by the advances in shrimp aquaculture, producing and providing lower cost shrimp to the US consumer. Producing shrimp are a little bit more complicated than sticking them in tanks. There is a science that is developed in the reproduction of shrimp going back to the late 1960s. We basically breed the shrimp where they mate, and then we collect mated females. They go into a hatch tank, the eggs are laid, they hatch, and then we collect the first stage larvae, and those go into another tank, larval rearing. They stay in larval rearing for maybe 12 days until they go from a free swimming larvae into what you would recognize as a baby shrimp, a very small baby shrimp. And it is those very small baby shrimp, which we call post larvae, after the larval stage, that we sell to farms throughout the United States and Europe, or they go to stocking shrimp farms worldwide. Growing up in Florida, when shrimp were in season, because it was all wild shrimp and there was only certain seasons where you could get shrimp, we would have a boil, we would eat shrimp on a Sunday. It was a big time for the family. My father, he brought the first shrimp farm that was in Panama City, Florida, a newspaper article, maybe in the late 60s, to my attention one Sunday, and he goes, this is fantastic. If they farm these shrimp, you realize we can eat year round. It won't be seasonal. And that just kind of stuck with me. So my whole life has been pursuing basically shrimp to allow people to enjoy shrimp at reasonable costs year round, anytime and anywhere. And I think that's what probably drives me most.